What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today I've been challenged to a cook-off. Welcome to my channel. So for today's cook, I decided to come outside. It's got beautiful weather outside, nice and sunny, a little bit of a breeze. You're probably wondering, who in their right mind would want to challenge Jared, the grill master crocker, to a cook-off? Well, I'll tell you this, guys. It's some crazy people. You should check them out. My neighbors, Tom and Rhonda. You can find them on YouTube at At Home with Tom and Rhonda. And then also, my other buddies, it's Keeping It Real with Randy and Julie. They seem to think that they can cook really well, so we're gonna put their uh, money where their mouth is, or their food where their mouth is, because we're not gonna put any money on the line, but we're gonna be doing the three-way cook-off. So these videos is just showing you guys how we're gonna prep it. I'm gonna show you on this channel, just me prepping. They're gonna show it on theirs, prepping the food. And then we're gonna make another video tonight at Tom and Rhonda's house of us cooking everything. And then we have some special guests that came in from Chicago to come try the food out for us. So. We're also going live at 8 p.m. on At Home with Tom and Rhonda's channel, so please go over there, catch us all live. It's gonna be a big fun party. I'm tired of talking and I'm ready to start cooking. All right guys, so today's food choice, we're gonna be making some armadillo eggs. If you're not sure what that is, here in Texas, it's stuffed jalapenos with uh, some cream cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, Angus beef sirloin uh, fajitas wrapped with bacon, that's gonna be awesome. And then the other food choice was an item that had to do with sausage. So I picked up this Jimmy Dean, it's a premium pork maple sausage. I'm gonna be making sausage balls stuffed with uh, seasoned fajitas, some of these uh, peppers here, and then also with this cubed Colby Jack cheese. So I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, so first things first, everything has been sanitized. My hands are washed, all the uh, jalapenos are washed. I'm gonna move these to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the uh, sausage bowls. This is my first time making this. This is kind of an experiment. That's just how I like to roll. I like to try new things. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut open these fajitas. Got a nice uh, little cutting knife here. Cause everything's bigger in Texas. Oh yeah, right there, nice piece of fajita. Get the cheese bowls ready. Cubes ready. My bad. Got my peppers here. Get my little knife out. Well, that didn't work like I wanted to. So I like cooking. I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of wing it every time, and if it comes out good, it comes out good. If it doesn't, I'll still eat it. All right. So we got the lid off there. It'll look way harder than it's supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take out some of these peppers. It's green peppers, red peppers, and onions. I'm just gonna give them a nice, good chop. I wanna get the pieces as small as I can because they're gonna be going inside of little sausage bowls. And these are pretty much gonna be like an appetizer. Be a pretty good thing to make for uh, any sporting events if uh, people still watch sports nowadays. I know I quit watching them. All right, so there it is. It's all chopped up. Move them over here to the side. Take some of the fajitas here. Oh man, this looks delicious. Check that out. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. These are just going to be cut up into small little pieces. It's going to go inside of the sausage bowls. I might keep some as later and just cook it up on the grill. I'm just doing little tiny pieces. Some of this is gonna go inside of my armadillo eggs as well. I'm not sure if uh, Tom and Rhonda or Randy and Julie are gonna do this, but Jared Crocker don't play around. Probably should have sharpened this knife a little more before I uh, put myself out there to the world to judge me. All right guys, so I have my sausage over here. I just split up one of the packs into eight pieces, so it's going to be eight little uh, sausage bowls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block of cheese in each. I'm just kind of just pushing down in the middle. I'm going to mold it all together here in a second. Some of these are a little bigger than the other. I probably need to make them more even. That's what's good about cooking on my channel. It just I just roll with it no matter what. All 
All right, so I got cheese on each. I'm gonna get a little bit of the fajitas. You're gonna hear Tucker in the back barking. Uh, looks like Diamond's out. Trying to say hi to everybody. All right, so now I got the sausage, the little squares of cheese, some fajitas. I'm gonna put some of these peppers on each. I'm gonna roll them up in a bowl here in a second. So it's gonna look like a mess right now, but trust me, it's gonna come out good. Sure hope the judges like peppers and stuff. All right guys, so this is right here, this is what it looks like. I have a little bit of this garlic pepper. That's the only seasoning I'm putting on all this stuff today. Just gonna sprinkle it over. Feel a little generous today. Feeling a little generous. All right, so now I'm just gonna mold these together into little balls. Just pick it up in my hand like that. Sprinkle in a little bit more peppers. Maybe a piece of meat here and there. Oh yeah. Try to get that cheese to stay in the middle. All right guys, so my sausage bombs are ready to go. I put a toothpick in each one so you can just grab it and eat it. Looks kind of like a little bomb, so I got my little sausage bombs ready. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these things in the refrigerator while I get this other food prepped, and then I'll check back in here in a second. All right guys, so once again, just chop it right down the middle. It's good to keep the halves together so you know which one's which. You can see I'm splitting in half. See all the seeds sometimes it comes out sometimes it doesn't i'm gonna take my spoon just get all the seeds out just scrape it all out as much as i can it's okay if there's a few left it'll look like this when it's done same thing with this side this one got cut a little bit worse than i thought it would i'm just gonna scoop it out keep it together put it on top and move on to the next one all right guys, now it's time to put these armadillo eggs together. Oh man, this is gonna be delicious. So I didn't go with normal cream cheese. I went with the garlic herb cream cheese. I wanna just uh, stand out from the crowd. I don't know what uh, the other two channels are gonna be putting all in theirs, but I wanted to try to do something different. So I'll put a decent amount in there. I don't wanna overdo it with this because I wanna leave room for the meat and everything else. Normally I would just put it all the way to the top, but like I said, I got different ingredients this time. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this uh, fajitas that I had. Just little tiny pieces in there. It should uh, cook with everything else. I'm gonna put a couple of these uh, peppers as if I needed more peppers inside here. And then sprinkle a little bit of a, uh, it's a little uh, Fiesta blend cheese. Just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Nothing too crazy. Here's the other half. Like I said, keep them together makes it a lot easier. Then my favorite part comes the thick cut bacon. So what I'm gonna do is lay it out here. Yeah, buddy. I'll start on this end. Basically just one strip of bacon per. Just try to squeeze it in there as much as you can. This is a messy part, but it is what it is. Got these little skewers here, little toothpicks. What I want to do is just put it all the way through on one end, all the way through on the other. There we go, half and half. And then maybe one more right here with the bacon ended, just to be safe. 
All right guys, so there's my jalapeno popper. It consists of a jalapeno, it's got cream cheese, a garlic cream cheese. It's gonna be wrapped in bacon. It's stuffed with fajitas, also with different peppers, and a little bit of shredded cheese. So I'm gonna bring in for a close look on the next one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video. Right, guys so you just saw the finished product of my armadillo eggs hope you enjoyed today's video this is all just have fun and games we're just trying to just help each other out on our channels go over and uh, subscribe tell them jared crocker sent you to at home at tom and Rhonda, and keeping it real with randy and julie like i said this was just prepping everything we're going to head over there later tonight we're going to cook everything tom and Rhonda are going to do a whole video on that we're also going to go live at 8 p.m once again uh, at at home at tom and Rhonda on their channel so Go over there, subscribe, tell everybody everything looks good. Check out their channel. They're also doing videos like this as well. So go over there and check out those videos. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.